What's up, YouTube? It's time, it's that time of the year for a new toolbox tour. Um, I'll just let you guys know here that this is my 80 inch Husky. It's actually 60 inches across with a 20 inch or so side locker. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I got. I'll try to keep this one really short because uh, I don't wanna take too much time. So let's get into it. Top hutch is filled with a bunch of project stuff right now, so I apologize for the mess. Um, but we've got anything from screwdrivers to half-inch drive ratchets to bits and miniature tools, um, T-handle torques or T-handle socket drivers, a couple wrenches that I use on a on a off on a ba on a daily basis, if not, um, you know, frequently. Uh, a couple smaller ratchets there on the side, uh, NOCO booster, battery tester, lights, batteries, yeah, you know, everything that you could possibly imagine that would be typically in a hutch. The big drawer here is, I think, five or six inches deep and 20 some inches. Uh, the depth of the drawer is like 20 some inches and the depth in, what do, you, what do you call it? The height of the drawer? The height of the drawer is like five inches and the depth is like 20 some inches. It's not real, real big, but it does a great job at holding all of the sockets that I have. I've got a lot of tools in here. Uh, fortunately enough, I was able to um, meet a Snap-on dealer who was retiring uh, and he was selling off a lot of his excess inventory. So I basically went nuts and bought everything that I possibly could. So the majority of what you see here is pretty much Snap-on. I'm also an avid hunter, tool hunter, so I like to go out and find deals, negotiate deals, and I've sold a ton of tools, probably about $10,000 worth of tools on on my uh, YouTube channel, uh, YouTube and Instagram. So I know a lot about sourcing tools. I can help you guys out if you ever need that, tell you how to find good deals, how to no negotiate good deals, et cetera. Uh, on this side of the drawer, you see all our SAE stuff. All on this side is all of our metric. Um, I'm kind of using both because I have some projects that require both of them. Uh, anything from swivels, swivel sockets or universal sockets, both 12.6 point SAE metric to your half inch drive stuff. Um, I got quarter inch drive swivels as well. 6.12 point sockets. I've used, primarily use a lot of impact grade sockets. Uh, I try to use impact where possible and only use chrome when uh, you know the accessibility is tight. Um, and I'm working up against a, a small area. Uh, anything for, I do have Capri sockets as well. These are Capri stubby sockets. They're really nice. They're regular chrome molly materials, so nothing spectacular with regards to that. A um, couple more snap-ons, uh, universal socket sets, and I got a quarter-inch drive down there. You'll see I've got tools here on the side of the box as well. These are your metric hex, uh, metric short uh, mid-length sockets and uh, snap-on metric SAE uh, mid-length and then my SAE um, hex sockets as well. Got a set of e-torques on the side here. Uh, another snap-on quick SAE socket set, like a little miniature service set. Uh, Half-inch drive uh, right tool, 12-point uh, sockets, snap-on uh, deep 12-point uh, chrome. Bunch of Mac tool sockets down here. Torx, hex, uh, triple squares, magnetic sockets, um, mid-length or mid-length uh, uh, torque sockets by snap-on. Um, metric deep, mid-length, and shallow, uh, six-point uh, sockets there, chrome. Another set of uh, mid-length sockets there and metric. Uh, quarter-inch drive socket set there, snap-on. Uh, snap-on shallow quarter-inch drive, snap-on three-eighths shallow super or stubby quarter-inch or uh, three-eighths drive, and then a set of uh, metric uh, universal sockets there, snap-on as well. But those are in chrome. Uh, there's a set of uh, Mac. Uh, those are the deep metric sockets there in chrome. 12-point half-inch drive here. A couple knives, courtesy uh, of one of my subscribers. Uh, thank you for sending me that. That's Paul Mendenhall. Thank you for that, buddy. A uh, couple uh, Lyle uh, tap sockets there. A couple stubby uh, metric hex sockets here that I use for my motorcycle and other smaller applications like that. Spark plug sockets, uh, CV axle uh, uh, tools there. Uh, a couple uh, axle sockets, uh, larger sizes. 
uh, hat bolt sockets, crank bolt sockets, um, ax or uh, lug nut sockets. Uh, I'm trying to fly through this, guys, so I apologize. If there's anything you see that you want more on, let me know. This is an SK uh, six point socket set uh, from six to 24, I believe it is. Um, that's pretty cool set there. Got that for a song. Um, more e torques there that are uh, uh, impact grade. Uh, quarter inch drive stuff here. More hex sockets. Those are Sun X. Um, so, primarily, what you see in this drawer here is pretty much right tool, snap on, 90% of snap on. Or 80% is snap on, 10% is right tool, 10% is Mac, and then you have some other stuff there as well. Percentages are not exact, of course. Uh, and this next drawer is all of my wrenches. Everything in this drawer is pretty much snap on, with the exception of this Mac Tools um, hard handle wrench set there with a slight offset. Ratcheting, reversible, non ratcheting, reversible, uh, stubby socket, or stubby um, FACOM wrenches there. Snap-on bottle opener, um, um, line, or, um, what do you call these? I can't think of the name of it. Uh, like line, so, or, you know what I'm trying to say. I can't think of the name of them. I'm trying to rush through this, and I'm not. My mind's not there. There's a couple more larger offset wrenches there. Screwdriver drawer, miniature screwdrivers there, uh, especially flip blade type screwdrivers there, uh, the bigger stuff there, the hard handles, the soft handle, ratcheting screwdrivers, some of the unique stuff that you don't see very often, a couple uh, ratcheting screwdrivers there with the soft grip kind, set of snap-on, uh, racing edition uh, screwdrivers. I got an even couple super long 24-inch uh, in an orange handle back there, ratcheting screwdriver, then I got one that's like a 12-inch one as well. Uh, brake line tools, a uh, couple of these ratcheting style wrenches as well. Next drawer is pliers. I've got pretty much all Snap-on and Knipex. Uh, I think maybe a few Mac in there as well. Some mass fabricator SAE wrenches. These are the old style metric and SAE Snap-on wrenches. A uh, set of double box in 12 point um, snap on wrenches there. Set of uh, metric um, uh, ratcheting blue point metric uh, snap on short wrenches. Um, snap on short SAE. Full set of snap on um, SAE standard wrenches there. And then some more of the line wrenches is there. Um, more crow's feet type style there, more pliers here, line pliers, cutting tools, um, uh, you name it, we've got them. Anything that's new from Snap-on in terms of a plier, I think I pretty much have them, um, including these beautiful things right here. Um, we pretty much have grabbed all of them. I think I even have another Knipex plier here that is, should be in a, in a box, but I put it there before I forget. anything nope okay next jar i got more wrenches this is a snap-on short wrench set metric snap-on stubby wrench set metric couple breaker bars um long pick set there snap-on um hose pl uh, hose uh, pick tool set there snap-on all my pry bars there are snap-on uh, some more hammers there a couple uh, can get, uh nupla and then a tecton um, then underneath this ratty case here, we've got more uh, hose pick pliers, uh, scrapers, uh, snap-on and OEM, miniature pry bars there, Mac tool scrapers there. Um, then we have all of our um, punches and chisels, our two different sets there, roll punches and standard punches and chisels. Uh, and then we have a couple of cheap files there by Tecton, and then another full set of snap-on um, hammers. And then in the back there, like I said, more pry bars. I think I go all the way up to like a 36 inch pry bar. And I think my 36 inch, yeah, that's a Mac tools or not, not, I mean, Mac, oh, sorry. And this next drawer here is, you, I'm, I can't go through all of it guys. So I apologize. 
primarily all my battery operated tools, anything from snap or uh, Milwaukee half inch high torque to snap on half inch drive, they're big boy. Um, all the CT 761s, 761s, 561s, uh, Milwaukee long neck standard uh, ratcheting uh, 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 ratchet, battery ratchet. Um, uh, you can see there the both metric and SAE uh, um, Mac tools, precision torque wrenches, a couple sets of gear wrench, flex head uh, ratcheting wrenches, my DeWalt tools, my torque wrenches, um, my I got more impact guns on the there, testers, more ratchets, uh, cutoff tools, um, power probe, uh, grinding tools down there. Uh, you name it, this drawer would probably take 10, 15 minutes to go through it itself, but just know that we've got everything that we need in that drawer there. Um, a lot of people love this drawer here. This is all my ratchets. We have three eighths drive and half inch drive in this drawer. Uh, anything from flex heads to standard lengths to big half inch drive, uh, quick release, non quick release. A um, couple flex heads snap on uh, ratchets here. These are two of my favorite. And then we have the quarter inch drive type stuff where it's got the quarter inch drive body, but the half inch drive or the three inch drive anvil. Uh, round head, which you don't see these very often. This is snap on as well. I've got that in a long and a short version. And I think a quarter inch drive version as well. The next drawer here is my quarter inch stuff. Some, some three eighths up here at the top. You see all the, the bent handle, spark plug type sockets, couple flex heads, couple standards. Um, ro the roto head. These are all my quarter inch drive stuff here. Anything from the high vis, flex heads, bent handle, and then some of the ones that are more obscure that you don't see anymore. Nice quarter inch drive set here on the side. This is a complete set. I won't try to go into that because we need to save some time on this video. Uh, in this drawer, here's all my just randomness here. We got uh, T-handle Torx, T-handle Hex, corn wheel, precision plier set, snap-on screwdriver set. We have our, our uh, 3 8 drive impact grade extensions. We have our chrome 3 8 drive extensions, our snap-on tape measures, our Matco lights, our snap-on, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, God, I can't think of the name of it. You know what they are. Um, precision screwdriver set here. Uh, more uh, nuts, nut, or, um, nut driver by Snap-on. Couple bit sets here, rat, miniature ratcheting screwdrivers. Um, tap, tap kits there. Uh, 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 burr, burr kit there. Uh, my serpentine belt, belt tools are there. I have uh, various uh, adjustable plot, uh, wrenches here from the big 10 inches down to the eights and sixes and so on and so forth. Quarter inch drive breaker bar, a old four uh, adjustable uh, wrench there. Um, oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much is all that's in here. A couple lights. I got a couple uh, um, stream light lights there, battery and uh, whatever. And this drawer here has got my jacket in there for now, but this is all my batteries, all my different uh, half inch drive, three inch drive, 14.4, the Milwaukee series stuff, cobalt stuff, you name it. And that's the power drawer there. My, my shop is so cold, I just kind of throw this jacket in here to kind of keep the batteries from going into like survivability mode. Um, so that's that. On the side of the box, we have some things hanging, gloves, socket rails, lights, my uh, funnel kit there. Uh, on top of the box is a bunch of junk. In the side locker, we have more diagnostic tools, more flashlights, more random wrenches, uh, all my other diag tools, anything from battery testers to small handheld uh, um, meters. Uh, all my different cases and stuff like that. I have Torx and Hex and lights and, and uh, tap kits and three threader kits and soldering irons and spark plug testers and um, magnetic sockets, uh, hole saw kits, SAE socket sets, um, all my electrical stuff in terms of like the, the shrink wrap and uh, a couple more bit sets and more lights down here is all my half inch drive stuff, like my 12.6 point half inch drive socket sets, all the way up to like maybe 32 millimeter and two or three inch diameter or two and 
two to three inches. A um, couple more Capri socket sets, 12 point or um, Torx, hex, and triple squares. Those are like uh, ceramic kits. Uh, that's like a propane, butane uh, soldering kit. Um, Mac uh, radiator flush kits. Um, all kinds of stuff in there, guys. It's, it's so much stuff in this box here. Got a couple more kits that couldn't fit inside the box on the side there. Um, over here in my, this, this is all my um, three quarter inch drive socket set and ratchets and breaker bars. I've got all the other sockets inside my snap line box there. Got a couple of tools laying on top. This is my uh, travel kit whenever I need, I need to go out to the salvage yard or whatever or do um, roadside work, help people out. Um, wrenches, socket sets, half inch, all the way from half inch to three quarter, or to half inch to, to quarter inch. Full set all the way up to 22 millimeter snap on, all my long screwdrivers and pry bars, miniature screwdrivers, adjustables, tape measures, pliers, screwdrivers, impact guns, another CT761, Cobalt 3 drive, um, 12 point or 6 point SAE socket set from Icon. Yes, I do have some cheaper stuff in here as well. A uh, whole set of ratchets. Um, just so that, you know, I have what I need when I'm out there. I don't like real, feeling like I don't have what I need when I need it. And so I keep this roll here that's got anything from a quarter inch drive all the way up to a half inch drive. These are all snap on for the most part. Uh, and then various SAE and metric wrenches all in bags. I keep everything in these bags so that um, I can just pull out the entire bag of metric wrenches, pull out the entire bag of SAEs. Got a couple of adjustable wrenches down there as well. Um, and then over here, we've got smaller socket sets, quarter inch drive swivels, uh, three inch drive swivel sets, semi deep sockets as well. And then all the other socket sets are down here, um, ready to go. And here I've got multimeters, I've got test probes, I've got test lights, I've got knives, um, I've got pretty much everything that you would need to have on the side of the road. If I need to take something with me that is not already in this box, I can just simply grab it, throw it in a bag, and um, I'm off to the races. Um, in my shop, um, I'm still getting kind of organized, but I have you know projects that I'm working on, like my mower, my motorcycle, which is not being worked on, just over there covered up for the year. Um, my stool. Then over here, the last thing I guess I'll show you for the sake of um, doing so is my little cart, mobile cart. Um, it's pretty much got everything that you can need as well. Uh, this is a three inch drive and quarter inch drive Craftsman socket set that I bought just to kind of test it out. My Capri quarter inch drive sockets here, which are absolutely crazy. They work great. Various other socket sets. You see, I've been doing a lot of body work, so I've got sanding pads everywhere. Uh, typically keep those in the bottom of the cart. Um, but we've got Matco 3H drive sockets. We've got some cheaper Chrome Molly hex in both metric and SAE, quarter inch drive metric and SAE, couple Torx 3H drive sets. Uh, this is a uh, 10 millimeter essential kit. Uh, this is a, uh, what was this? This is Duralast. I just picked that up from AutoZone or whatever it was to kind of try it out. Couple pliers and cable cutters, bolt cutters. And then in the drawer here, we have our gear wrench precision screwdriver set, half inch drive SK socket set, a couple of wrenches, some uh, adjustable uh, or um, some hex uh, Allen keys, a couple more pliers, air guns, icon uh, scrapers and uh, prying tools, uh, hose clamps, O rings, uh, self tapping screws, more hose clamps. 12 point uh, three inch drive, 12 point uh, socket set from right tool, more screwdrivers, um, you know, things that I, that I may need while I'm, I'm running around the shop or maybe going from barn to barn. And then underneath there, I've got sanders and grease guns and more impact guns for trying to pull that battery off, um, drill bit kit, uh, hammers, pry bars, you name it. Uh, a big light on the top here. And then I keep all my can stuff here, the greasers and um, uh, what do you call it? Anti seize, another light, uh, starter fluid, carb cleaner, brake cleaner, you know, you name it, grinding tools. Um, yeah, I've got everything that I need. And then this is the, my main building. This is uh, my 
main shop. Keep in mind all that stuff over there. We're simply trying to get moved into our new new property. So the building's kind of crazy right now. But yeah, that's pretty much my shop. I've got welding equipment over there in the corner. I've got my vax, my painters. Uh, this is my, oops, don't want to hit that button there. Hang on a minute. Got to climb over this cord. Ugh. My big century stick welder here. I got my smaller yes welder over there with my helmet, my extra wire, um, all the grinding tools that one would need when doing welding work, my press, which I need to get put back together. Um, yeah, I got my shop's kind of a mess like right now because we've been working on on this mower. We finally got it done and ready to roll. Uh, so we are going to be bringing in more projects because we've got this one completed out. Simply waiting for a couple more body panel pieces and then we're all done. But yeah, guys, that's my shop. This is a DIY setup. This is at my, my home shop. I'm not a mechanic. I'm a mechanical engineer by trade. Um, and so that's what I do on a nine to five. And then when I come home, I want to get outside and do some work on my own projects. This is kind of like my home base and, and what, what I work from. So this is an awesome box for the price. I think I paid like around 1200 bucks for it, uh, from Home Depot. Plan on getting another one so I can kind of add on to it. I know I keep talking about that, but I am working on doing that. It takes a lot of money to get these kind of things done. And uh, I don't make a whole lot of money. Um, so, well, I don't make a whole lot of money from YouTube. I should say it that way. I don't make a, you know, don't make a shit ton of money from YouTube. So um, anything that I buy uh, or have is being coming out of my own pocket. So yeah, that being said, view the, watch the videos, guys, subscribe to the channel, help get the algorithms up so I can make more money and I can buy more tools and get more projects in the shop and we can have more fun doing that. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, guys think about my setup. Is it cool? Is it lame? What would you add? What would you take away? Love to hear you guys' feedback. I'm out. Peace.